G'day. <laughs> I'm Optimistic Xavier. Um, well, that's my that's my business name. My name's Xavier. I'm a um, psychic medium, um, spiritual counselor, um, a spiritual mentor, and lots of other things. I help with lots of things like um, past life healing and release, um, balancing chakras, children, adults, couples, lo lots and lots of things. I'm a twin flame as well. Um, today, though, I wanted to talk about children because so many, so many reasons. Um, our children are, you know, getting prepared to rule this place when they're adults, um, and we want to hopefully bring them up to be well-adjusted adults. And that's something I've really been drawn to a lot. Um, the experiences my own, with my own children, especially. I've got three children and um, three stepchildren now. And they all have their own stuff going on. They've all got different learning difficulties and, and other kinds of things happening. Um, there's no normal, is there? <laughs> so it's been a challenge and they have taught me so much. So it's been absolutely wonderful. And that's helped me really be able to help other children um, so much. So I know that's why they chose me as their parents, so they could teach me to help others. But what I want to do is give you some tips of how you can help your own children, your grandchildren, nieces, nephews, or just children in your life to grow into well-adjusted adults starting from now. So I've just taken some notes so I don't forget everything I want to cover. So I can't see you, but I'd say raise your hand. <laughs> um, if you wish you had learned some of the relaxation, coping, wellness strategies you now know when you're a child. <laughs> I definitely wish I did. Um, gosh. I just wish, yeah, like, and some some children grow up in, in families with parents that are like sort of shiny, well-adjusted as psychics or spiritual yoga teachers and all that kind of stuff that do help them in that. Um, and some of you may be just learning a bit about chakras and grounding and balancing and, and things like that. So I just want to see, you know, make it, have you, give you think about making sure this stuff passes on to the children in your life. Because um, we often like, and I'm very guilty of it too, before I became shiny, as I call it. Um, this didn't start for me, this this process, really, until I'd had all my children. Um, my youngest was about three when I started getting into this. Um, sort of, yeah, wellness and spiritual stuff. Um, yeah, so, yeah, it's it's really, really great if we can start with them young, just talking about things, basic things like grounding, how to connect to the earth. Um, and releasing stress and worries. So it's just being sort of like mindful of it. So mindfulness as well. So when they're stressed and upset, if you any techniques that you've learnt or you want to learn, you can um, contact me if you want to know some, if you don't know any, of course. Um, you know, connecting to the earth and just imagining everything in your head and your heart just going out of your body and going into the earth or down the drain when you're having a bath or a shower or something like that to get all the stress out of your body. Imagine being able to teach that to kids whenever they're getting stressed or angry or having a tantrum or... You've told them to do something they don't like or they've hit their sister or something like that and how you can send that anger, grief and stuff away. Um, because imagine, so I'm just checking my notes. Um, yeah, like, so when they're grieving about something or they're upset about being in isolation, for example, and not seeing their friends, like so many different ways they can cope because sending all that stuff away will leave, will leave room for raising their vibration. Um and being able to attract some, you know, better circumstances and things to them as well. So that's really, really nice to be able to help them just just with that simple, you know, tip to, to help them release their stuff and not hold on to anger. How can we get rid of it constructively so they're not um, letting it out and hitting people or, you know, things like that. Because kids can get really angry and they don't know how to cope with stuff so well. Um, yeah, so teaching mindfulness and to be present and notice the little things. So how you're feeling, what's going on with you. Um, are those flowers beautiful as they're walking? Listen to those sounds around us, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, being aware of their feelings. Why do they feel a certain way? How do they make others feel? Um, getting massages and chakra balances and past life healings as well. Kids can get that done too. It's not just about us. Imagine if we did that for them when they're young. They're getting used to these habits and, and learning how to get rid of this all that kind of stuff that they don't need when they're young. So how beautiful would that be? It's okay to do that for our kids um, and spend a bit of money on them sometimes if we can, if you can afford it, it's in your budget, or just do it for them. It's like how beautiful if you learn how to do it. So let's hope we can raise this generation of children 
into well-adjusted adults so that we, they don't need fixing um, when they're older because they've learned these strategies when they were younger. So yes, I really hope gave you some ideas to think about um, to help the kids. Um, yeah, so they can cope with everything as they get older and they already know what to do by the time they get to our age and they don't have to learn it all over again. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.